Would you like to create a more consistent third shot and have fun while you're doing it? If you're new here, welcome. This channel is dedicated to all things pickable, from gear and equipment, to instruction and drills, to the fitness and weight management that the over 50 athlete or active pickleball player needs to do to stay out on the court longer. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button and then the bell notification. That way, every Saturday, you'll get a notification when I post a new video. Hey everybody, it's CJ Johnson. Great pickleball players have one thing in common. They can execute a third shot or a series of third shots that'll allow their team to get to the net and eliminate their opponent's advantage. I've coached multiple sports and without a doubt, games have been the one thing that have helped my clients to improve their skills and have fun while they're doing it. If you're struggling with your third shot, drop or drive, and you can't figure out how to make it more consistent, I've got the perfect game just for you. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video and I'll give you a free checklist that'll help you to write your own improvement plan. This is a two player drill. One person at the non-volley zone and one person at the baseline. We're using half the court so the center line becomes the sideline. To win a point, the person at the baseline must work their way into the non-volley zone and start a dinking game using any combination of drops and drives they like. Once in a dinking game, they can score a bonus point if they win the point. Switch places after each rally. First one to 11 wins. When you're the player at the baseline, make sure you try a combination of shot, not just drops or drives. See what works best for you. Once you're in a dink game, dink with a purpose. If you aren't sure how to do this, click on the video that's coming up above. It's all about dink strategy and it's gonna give you some additional insights. This is your time to try something new during the dink game. As an example, if you don't normally lob, give it a try. If you're the player at the net, this is the perfect time to practice your offensive skill. Focus on hitting the ball at the player's feet, making the third shot more difficult for them to hit. Now you've got a fun way to improve your third shot consistency. But hey, what about the rest of your game? Not to worry, I've got a free checklist just for you. It's gonna help you to put an improvement plan together so you'll be playing better pickleball in no time. Just click on the link in the show notes below. Comment down below if you think this drill will help you to improve your third shot consistency. If you got value from this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, or share it with your pickleball playing friends, because together we can train smart, live bold, and age well. Mm -hmm.